Number 45. A friend tells you that the 2s orbital for fluorine starts off at a much lower energy than the 2s orbital for lithium, so the resulting sigma 2s molecular orbital in F2 is more stable than the L2, Li2. Do you agree? Well, in order to answer this question, I basically pulled up a representation of what your molecular orbitals look like in terms of energy for all of your group 2 uh, atoms. And just know that this is going from increasing energy. So the orbitals, the molecular orbitals that are down here are, have the least energy, and the ones that are at the top have the most energy for the specific atom, or molecule in this case. But in this case, we're looking for Li2, which is over here, and F2. So now, let's see if the ending assumption is correct. They did say that the resulting sigma 2s molecular orbital in F2 is more stable than in L2, Li2. So if an orbital is more stable, that means that it has less energy. The more energy that a molecule contains, the more reactive it is. So something that is more stable just means that it has less energy. So let's find that sigma 2s orbital. That's the one all the way down here. Here's the sigma 2s. And for F2, it looks like the F2 is over here. And, and maybe I'll just do that. And for the Li2, it's a little bit higher. So let's just pull this over. The energy would be roughly around here. Oop, can't do that. And then let's see, maybe... Did I get a straight line? Oh boy. Oh, that's actually pretty good down here. So we have Li2 up top and F2 for the bottom. So whose sigma 2s molecular orbital in F2 is more stable? It is F2 because it has less energy. So that is true. And then the friend says that you know, they tell you that the 2s orbital for fluorine starts off at a much lower energy than the 2s orbital. Now, the reason behind why the sigma 2s is lower in energy is all because about effective nuclear charge and radius. Just know that as your radius is decreasing, that means that your electrons are more closer to the nucleus. And the negative charges are closer to the positive charges, so they're happy. So as the radius decreases, your sigma 2s energy will drop. Now just remember that on a periodic table, here's my little representation up here, right? The trend for radius is as you go from left to right, your radius will decrease. It will get smaller. So lithium is over here, and fluorine is over here. So as it's going, that means that fluorine is much less of a radius than lithium, per se. So since fluorine is a smaller atom, those electrons will be more attracted to the nucleus, making it a more stable atom. So, do you agree? I agree. I concur. Do you concur? Where is that from? You might not know, but it's one of my favorite movies. I concur. <laughs> I think that's how he says it. Give it a shot. Let's see. Maybe I just butch butchered the, uh, the uh, quote, but we'll see. Anyway, I agree. So that's the end for this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep learning. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.